up on how big the computer should be and how much copper you need to have in the traces. There's a, if you Google that, there's a table that says if you're drawing this many amps and this for this distance, you need this trace width. So be sure you look that up. Because it doesn't, the, the design check and the electrical check don't really know what's going on in that circuit. They just know what's connected and how they're connected and how big the trace, you said the traces should be. It can't tell that that trace is going to take 10 amps if you short it out. <coughs> so uh, you need to do that yourself. But okay, so I've got top copper, bottom copper, top silk screen, top paste, which is the, the stencil that I was talking about, bottom silk screen, top solder mask, bottom solder mask, and drill file. And if I go to, let's say, top silk screen, I've got the dimension layer, the plate, the top placement layer, the top names, top values. So the little T or the little B just say, you know, when I laid out the board, that was on the top, that was on the bottom. So um, I've used this before. I know this is good, so I don't need to go mess with it. I just go, uh, let's see, process job. Usually this goes really fast. Uh, sometimes when you put uh, the ground plane on, there'll be like a line on the edge that you don't see, and that causes it to try to generate all these weird polygons, you know, thousands or tens of thousands of them, which takes a long time to process. So I'm just going to cancel it up for now. Because uh, I've already got a group of files sitting out there. So now I need to go look at those files because sometimes what you see in Eagle, it's not apparent that there's something wrong with it. So it's a good idea to go back and do a quick look at the actual Gerber files. And the Gerber files are all these files that end with a capital G, B, L, B, O. So G, B, L is Gerber bottom layer, so that's the copper. Gerber bottom, let's see, S is silk screen, so that's going to be the uh, solder mask. Uh, GTL is the paste layer. Then, uh, oh no, that's top layer, that's top copper. This is the paste layer. And then, that's the silk screen, thank you. And then the .txt file is the drill file. So when you go view this thing, those are the seven files that you're going to send to your board processor. So you need to look at, put the, all those seven into a viewer. So I'm going to pull up a little free viewer called ViewPlot. So it gives me kind of another way to interpret those 
files and make sure they look okay. And this, it's not really user friendly at the user interface. It's kind of messy. I'm going to pick a different board. I'm going to screw up those server files. So this is um, a thing I'm, I call the Chromo disk. It's kind of a ripoff of another instructable. 